drums, drummers, and the drumming industry. Hello, my name's Paul Rodney, better known as The Rod. I'm not an authority, nor do I claim to be. I played the drums most of my life. I've worked in artist relations for two drum product manufacturers. I served as a product tester at times and even took a stab at my own drum company. There's a unique bond between drummers unlike any other instrument which surpasses race, sex, age, and religion. It makes us a unique group of people. Drums are my passion. They are my life. Welcome to Rod Stock and Drums. I first met Frederick in 2008 after I conducted an interview with him. I have to confess I didn't know much about him at that point. After a great interview and an even better performance that night, I became an instant fan, buying up much of their back catalog. Death metal isn't my first choice of music to listen to, but a monomarth are so good that a style description is irrelevant. They are a death metal band that are often categorized as a Viking metal band. This view is not supported by vocalist Johann Hegg, who feels that people may describe him as this due to their Norse mythology, pre-Christian world subject matter that is featured in much of their lyrics. They formed originally as the band Scum in 1988. After the addition of vocalist Johann Hegg, they changed their name to Amana Marth in 1992. The name Amana Marth was derived from an alternate name of Mount Doom, a location in J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth. Since starting Amana Marth, they have become a powerhouse in the metal community, releasing nine full-length albums, seven of them through Metal Blade Records after signing with them in 1998. One DVD and six music videos. They have a unique connection with their global audience unlike any other metal band I've experienced in recent years. What really stood out to me the times I've hung out with them is that they always have fans, but they treat more as friends than fans, and often drink toast sweat. They have a powerful live show that has to be experienced rather than just viewed. In this climate of diminished fan support, they are still actively selling out shows all over the world as experienced in the filming of this show. Stoking this band's energy is Frederick Anderson. His playing really stood out to me. He has thunderous double bass technique, but doesn't overuse it. He's in constant motion with powerful drum fills and tactfully executed licks. And most of all, he chooses to serve the song. Although starting off as a guitar player, which I'll try to overlook, he's grown to be one of the most respected drummers in his genre. It was in 1986 at the age of 11 when Frederick first found his independent musical voice by giving up formal piano lessons to follow what was moving him more that of rock and metal, the music that he loved to listen to. Not being satisfied with his music voice, he moved on to guitar two years later in 1989. It wasn't until 1991 when he started a band titled A Canaris Quintet that later became his other current side project called Descending that he first sat behind the drums. Fast forward to 1998. He receives a call from guitarist Ollie of Amanomarth asking him to join the band. With little thought, he said yes. Again, Frederick's playing totally blew me away and is a drummer who can perform what he records. It's interesting to me how different drummers approach music. As I mentioned earlier, Frederick serves the song. I started off the interview asking him about this approach. Frederick, how you doing? I'm pretty good, thank you.
I am talking with Holger, the drum tech for Frederick of Amano Mark. How you doing tonight? Oh, really good today. Good. On every show, I hope to play for you a trailer from a new drum instructional DVD. This first trailer comes from Marcus de Schlegwerker, who hails out of Sweden. Marcus has worked, toured, recorded with various Swedish and international artists, and as a solo site at forward slash randy t black to find out when and where you can pick up your copy.